it belonged to uh, a young family who actually had a young girl. Now, uh, when the little girl was a baby, obviously the baby was in a cot, and uh, she would, uh, the parents would go over to see what was going on, and Thomas used to go and land on the cot, didn't you? See what all the fuss was about. Thomas used to go over, and as soon as she did, the parents picked Thomas up and said, you, you mustn't do that, Thomas, you're very naughty. Let's take you back over here to your cage, and uh, stop you from doing that. So, by doing this, Thomas got picked up, she got lots of talking to, she got lots of nice tasty treats, and she got lots of pickles. She she thought this was great. So the next time she comes out, the child was walking around a little bit and she used to go and land on the little girl, didn't you? Yes, she did. Now, every time she did this, the child used to make a huge amount of noise and the dad came running over and said, Thomas, you mustn't do that. You scared her. So she, he would take Thomas off, put him into his office and Thomas got to spend the whole day with him. Thought it was great, didn't you? Yes, yeah, he did. So the next time, Thomas comes out, the little girl says, you know what, Daddy, it's okay, don't worry, leave Thomas. So Thomas went and landed on the little girl, and nothing happened. So you have to make the child make a noise in order for Daddy to come over and pick her up. So what did you, did you bite her? You bit her, yes, she did. And it became so bad that every single Tom, time Thomas was out, she used to go and find the child, bite the child, and immediately get picked up, given some nice taste treats, told off, said you must do this. Um, when she doesn't understand what you're saying at all, she just knows that you're talking to her, and she thinks this is fantastic. So it became so bad that every single woman and child that entered into the house, Thomas used to bite, yes yeah, she did. So this was a really big problem. Now, as you can see, Thomas is not a problem at all. She's absolutely beautiful, and she's one of the fantastic fantastic parrots that we have here at the park. Now, well, with Thomas, uh, it's just to show you how easy it is to train your bird to do something that you don't want to do, because about nine out of 10 pet parrot owners actually train their birds to bite. So it's really easily done. So if anybody does have a problem with a pet parrot, please don't hesitate to ask myself or one of my colleagues at the end of the show. We're more than happy to help you out as much as we possibly can. Now before we pop Thomas back, I just want to show you something a little bit different. Now sometimes on a windy day, Thomas does end up getting blown around and lands in one of our trees. Trying to spot her because she is so dark in coloration is quite difficult. So what we've done is we've trained Thomas to whistle when we call her name. So if she's stuck in a tree, we go, Thomas! Good girl. And we know exactly where she is. Fantastic. Thomas, we're going to send her back up into the window. And thank you very much to my four lovely volunteers. You guys did a fantastic job. There we go. Now, Thomas is going to make her way slowly into the window. Uh, the reason why I say this is because every single day we do this show. And Thomas always takes her time going in through the window. Uh, we actually think that she's afraid of spiders. So uh, that's why we do come out every single day, wipe down the windows, making sure there are no spiders, because she likes to do her own little spot check. And quite rightly so, because out there in the wild, going into a, a small crest of a uh, hollow or anything like that in a tree, there could be a bird-eating spider or a snake waiting to get them. So they have to be very careful indeed.